Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the big winner from MTG Finance. And the biggest winner are people who have old collections. It doesn't matter what is in your old collection as long as it is black bordered and legends and Arabian Nights and older, you are sitting on a gold mine. Now, I have comments of like whether or not this is actually real or if it's not real, how how are people going to sell these cards for their new prices, right? And the answer is they don't need to. They, they can just sell their entire collection. I've seen collections. So instead of having a bulk collection from Legends now, you have a valuable collection from Legends and that can be sold on Craigslist or eBay relatively easily. I do not think these prices are going to stick, but that doesn't mean that there's not the opportunity to sell out. So this is what I do. If this card's $154, which it is not, it went from, I want to guess like $5 to $154. It's not $5 either. Might Stone, which I own many, many Might Stones. I did not even realize it was a uncommon. I mean, just read it. It's four. All attacking creatures get plus one, plus zero, and that's it. That's all it does. It costs four and the creature has to attack and all they, all they are getting is plus one plus zero. Why is this card $5? Answer, it's a collectible item. I mean, but okay, it's, let's assume it's not $5, but is it the previous price of a dollar? No, it's probably somewhere in the middle. Interestingly enough, and this is definitely something to keep in mind, older collections, I don't feel like people who have old collections, if you're lucky enough to snag one on Craigslist, they probably don't know the current price spikes. By definition, so if they had a newer collection, so a lot of times people on Craigslist will sell planeswalkers and this, and they ask for way too much money, right? And that's because they're new players and they believe their cards are worth that much money. But older players, if you haven't played Magic recently, there's no way that you know there is a $7 card in the dark. It's just not comprehend. Maybe you think eight, maybe you know the Maze of If is expensive, but there's no way that you would have figured Cleansing, which is a terrible card in my opinion, is $7. And there's no way that you would ever imagine My Stone. I played during these periods of time and even then, we knew my stone was bad, and we didn't have the ability to pump like we pump creatures, especially tribal, like we do today. I mean, four four now gets you a pirate that pumps other pirates and that does other pirate stuff and that allows you to steal stuff from the opponents as a creature. Like that's what four gets you today. But four back in the day, even my stone, we felt like, hmm, this card sucks. Anyway, back to my point of what's going on and how you can benefit from it because a lot of you think that I just retroactively do this and it's easier to retroactively and I'm, you're correct. Most times I would tell you after something has spiked. Here's the opportunity of a lifetime. You need to grab old collections. You just need to grab them and you need to buy them. You need to go on Craigslist, you need to find an old collection, and even if the price is a little outrageous, you just need to go out and buy it. If you lose a kidney, because it turned out the guy was actually a kidney organ seller, then, you know, don't do that, right? It's a kidney to live, is it the liver where like you can cut a piece of it and it regenerates? Or I'm thinking of like a different animal or something. Anyway, these cards are, the, I'm gonna, someone print me a t-shirt or like make me a meme of the definition of bulk. But you have to understand, I play during this era, no one even played these. Okay, so it's one thing to look at the card retroactively and say, oh, that card sucks. It's another thing to know the card sucks. When you're in, so someone wrote it, it's type one, type two, that's what they called it. It wasn't standard, modern, eternal. It was type one, type, or legacy. It was called type one and type two. And type two, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's kind of like the equivalent to the, today's standard. No one played these cards. Transmute Artifacts, $107. Okay, Transmute Artifacts, not terrible. It's a little bit too much text. And as a kid, I probably had a few of these. 
and I had to dig. I have to dig because like it's so crazy that like these cards are so insane. Like a hundred dollar bill is just lying in bulk right now. In my bulk. I guarantee you I have stuff like Gravity Spare, which is more expensive now. I have all those because you people wanted to get rid of their collections as long as you bought the collection during the right period of magic. What's more most important in Magic the Gathering is not your financial ability. It's not whether or not you understand the stock market or you can manipulate. It's if you got lucky and it's what period of time. I would say this, if you open packs during original Zendikar with the uh, treasures, even if you never got a treasure, you would have been set, you have been good to go because all the fetch lands, right, are in there. Now, if you keep opening really bad sets, like, I will again say I don't think Hour of Devastation is a bad set. I just don't think it's valuable, and it's definitely not Zendikar. It's not Zen Zendikar. It, it cannot be, right? Like, it's not even Conjure Tarkir. And most definitely, it's not opening a pack of Antiquities, right? It's never, even 20 years from now, the value won't be there for Hour of Devastation. I'm almost certain. If Magic still survives, I'm hoping that it becomes digital, but maybe it's still antiquated in the card game there's no way you can expect there's just zero expectation that an hour of devastation set will be valuable 20 years from now why would people ever value that um the, the print run is too much given the player base and the player base is not growing and there's other issues i'm not going to get into but Lorwyn, Shadowmore, Eventide. Those I knew were good. Those you just play in the block and you're like, wow, these cards are going to be valuable someday. Now, did I pick the right ones? No, I don't need to. It's just like the Force of Will cycle. I knew that there was free means good. Just like Pack of Negations when I saw those. Free, oh, good, good. Anytime you do not have to pay the mana cost, good. Even the card on the surface looks crappy, like Allosaur Rider. That was like the crappiest dinosaur in existence. But then Eldric Evolution came out, and people like spiked it to $15, and it got crazy. I mean, eventually, you don't need it to be valuable forever. You just need it to be valuable for that window of time before you sell it into the hype. So there's some truths in Magic, and this is the truth. You need to go out, find an old collection, and grab it. And just grab all the old collections and all the old cards, no matter what they are. You don't even need to look up the card does now. Eventually, it will spike anyway. Like, I need to do this. And, like, I need to make a, uh, a note to go ahead and start buying these things because the, the simple fact is the supply of these sets are known. Or the amount of the sets are known. That's atypical. So we know how much mocks exist we know how many alpha rares beta rares exist i'm pretty sure arabian nights is as well and it's not that many given the current player base when you look at caladas it's like infinity it's an infinity distributors are selling caladas booster boxes for 69 dollars. i think it's channel fireball was selling them for 74. their regular sale price from distributor to channel fireball should be like 76 or for distributor to maybe another entity maybe channel fireball has a special deal but to your local game store is 76.50 around that price no one wants this stuff no one wants a for revolt no one wants calidez no one wants that they will always be on sale but this older stuff Man, and, and don't buy them singletons. Remember I said Pixie Queen, I made fun of it, and I was like, oh, if I just spec on a card, it would be Pixie Queen because it looks great. Now it has spiked again. It's ridiculous. It spiked. It doubled in price. Rasputin. It's a, it's a gross looking card. I never noticed it was so ugly looking. I always got this confused with the other one, like Hurricane Lore Weaver. They kind of like look the same. I always got the artwork confused. Anyway, that is it. Leave me a comment below. Bye, guys.